Hi grade 7, this will be the last uh, practice that you're going to have for this week. Okay, so for this video, our goal is so that you can graph equations in slope and y-intercept form. So before we get started, let's review. Okay, so our form is in y equals mx plus b m being the slope and b the y-intercept so practice uh, on your own and i'm just going to reveal the answer slowly Okay, great. I hope you had uh, everything correct. And so now for our lesson for today, you're going to learn how to graph. So um, what you need to do is given an equation, you need to identify both the slope and y-intercept. So I colored them for you. So here is your slope, 2 out of 3, and minus 1 is the y-intercept. So when you graph, you start with the y-intercept, okay? So here's, here are the steps, find the slope and y-intercept. So start with the y-intercept, which is a negative 1. And then plot the y-intercept, there you go. So you have your negative 1. And then you are now going to plot the slope by counting the number of units vertically and horizontally. Also, make sure that you are mindful whether it's negative or positive. Remember, if it's positive, it's going up. And if it's negative, it should be going down. So in this uh, equation, our slope is positive. So it should be going up. And the slope is 2 thirds. Remember that the numerator tells you the number of units going up or down. And then the denominator is the number that tells you whether you're moving to the right, the number of units to the right or left. Okay, so let's get started with doing the slope. I go up two units, and then because I want to make a line that's going up, then we go to the right by three units, and that will be your second point. Okay, keep doing that so that you can extend the line one more time, two units up and three units to the right, and you now have your third point. I am now going to continue down here, down below from the first point for our fourth point point because I don't have space here anymore okay so now I'm going here and then do to go down by two and then three units to the left and then I will do that one more time so that I have more points and I can now connect all these points and draw a longer line and that will be the line for y is equal to 2 thirds x minus 1. Okay, if you need to repeat this, then do so. On the next uh, example, I'm not going to write the steps anymore. So if you want, you can copy the steps in your notebook so you can take a look at these steps. Okay, so here's another example graph is equal to negative 1 third x plus 4. So I gave you a um, an opposite of the first example now I have a negative slope and a positive in y-intercept okay so it's easier to start with the y-intercept so identify it should be 4 or 0 4 so I'm going to plot the 4 over here 1 2 3 4 that's the first slope uh, the first point sorry and then now I will be conscious about what the line look like okay or the line looks like um, it's a negative so it should be going down so I'm going this way okay so slope is one third so one unit down I'm going down because I don't have space up here so I'm gonna go down and then because I'm want a line that's going down then that means I'm going to put one unit and then three units to the right that's my second point I'll keep doing it another one unit going down and then three units going to the right that's my third point and now I can just 
connect the points and draw a longer line so that is the graph of the line y is equal to negative one third x plus four um, if it's still not clear it will be helpful if you re-watch the video and then if uh, you are still confused remember, remember that you can always chat with me or set a face-to-face -face session okay so now you are now ready to download the practice sheet you are going to have about six questions or eight to graph and then when you're done take a photo or scan and upload it to virtual school graph equations okay bye